Hi, everybody. This is Tracia Bolin with Worthy. Uh, today, we have a wonderful lady here who is a, we call her Queen Deesh Dixon. And uh, she just, she just wears many hats. Uh, she just involved with so many different things. And uh, let's see here. She is also known as, well, actually, her name is Rashi, Rashonda. You have to tell me that. How do you say Radisha? it? Radisha. Radisha Dixon. She's known as Deesh Dixon. I said, that's how you say it right. And uh, she's the author of No More Broken Records. And uh, it's five tips to change your tune and transform your life. And Queens Do Not Settle, a book of poems to empower women, both available on Amazon. So we got an author in the house today. Mm -hmm. And she is also a model, which I know that's how I met her. <laughs> and she's a poet and she's a pageant title holder. And I would like to, everybody to welcome Deesh Dixon in the house today. How are you, Deesh? I am doing well. How are you? <laughs> so what have you been up to lately? What is the latest things you have been doing? Like what, <sighs> um, like I know you've been doing a lot of different things. So uh, what, what do you do on a, a regular every day? Like what is your normal <laughs> nine to five? Like I know you do a lot of things, but what is your normal sure. nine to five? <laughs> sure. So actually, I just moved um, from the D.C. metro area down to Atlanta. So I'm in Atlanta and I'm a manager in the healthcare industry now. Oh, wow. Oh, I bet you that's exciting, especially over the last year, huh? In the healthcare yeah, situation. With everything going on. Yeah. So your life has probably changed a lot in the last year. <laughs> It has. It, it has. I uh, actually moved down here just for positive change because I actually lost my sister. So it was just positive oh, change. Wow. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, that's uh, mm -hmm. so are things going well now? Are you is, is things going in a new direction for you? It is. You know, I think loss kind of gives you that introspection. So what? just had to sort of pivot a little bit and, and do something different. So what other things are you been doing and are you still involved with the modeling and all, all those different things that you, I know you've been doing a lot with that on the runway. And I think you always win the runway model of the <laughs> whole competition every time. Don't you always win the, like the overall best model? <laughs> so. So, so I actually, uh, the most recent competition I was involved in was top model. Um, I think that was in December. So I actually have a competition. I'm scheduled to um, compete in a competition next month in Virginia. So I'm heading back oh. up to your area. Oh, fantastic. That is wonderful. What is the name of that competition? Can you say? Uh, World, I believe it's World's Perfect Model Search. Oh, really? That is fantastic. That is yeah. wonderful. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> and, uh, so, and then do you have more on the, on the list for at the year? You have more that you're going to be involved with throughout the year with the modeling or. So, that... well, you know, of course, depending on how that competition goes, we'll kind of, we'll see what else I'm going to get involved in this year. Cause you know, with us, you have to, you have to be mindful of that and you don't want to just like chase titles and stuff like that. So just depending on how that one works out, we'll kind of move me in the direction of what competition will be next. Absolutely. I understand that. That 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 is incredible. Um, it also says that you ab have obtained your MBA. So not only you would, are you going after modeling and rocking the runway, but you are like brain, I mean, you have <laughs> in your heads and got your education and a bachelor's degree in mass communications mm -hmm. uh, from VCU. Mm -hmm. um, you've been a pageant judge and you have been writing and published Essence in Essence magazine. Um, mm -hmm. Boy, girl, you, the list continues here. Let me continue. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Bustle and Huffington Post. You were featured in Dr. Joe Vitale's um, The Secret Mirror mm -hmm. and her podcast, Queens Don't Settle. And, and it is available on Anchor, iTunes, Google Podcasts, and Spotify. Mm -hmm. Want to elaborate on any of that? Like, wow, <laughs> wow, wow. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I do want to definitely mention Dr. Joe Vitale because he's really incredible. And I think that was a great opportunity to work um, with him. We were out in Texas and it was just a really great opportunity. Um, I'm really into spirituality. Um, and it was just a really 
nice experience to be around that type of energy. It, it really was. Yeah. Wow. What kind of things did he like, I uh, ask you about, did he like, like, did he like, what did he do? What did he ask you about when he went into all that? So we did this, we basically shot, I, I, I don't know if he considers it a documentary or just a movie, um, but I mean, you know, the film crew was there and um, we pretty much were a part of his project and it is called The Secret Mirror. Um, I know it was on his website before. I'm not sure how, what he's done with it since then, but um, it was just an experience where me and several other people were there and we were kind of talking about um, the law of attraction and I guess our experience with it and some questions that we maybe had. Yeah. Um, so that whole experience was kind of about sort of almost awakening maybe more within ourselves, <laughs> I oh, guess. Yeah. Interesting, that is interesting. So what, what inspired you for this whole uh, Queens Don't Settle book? I mean, like, I remember like when we were, wa we were walking a another runway, I think it was downtown Richmond and we were, I was like, wow, that is so interesting that you just put together and you wrote this book and you just did it. And I was asking you, how did you do that? Like, how did you just come up and do that? And what, what inspired you to write that book? Did something happen in your life or mm -hmm. something like motivate you to like, and you wrote one for men too, right? With the king. I, ha I do. Kings don't settle is, so, is the one for men. So it's not just about women here. It's also about men don't, don't just settle either. What, what inspired you to do this? Did something happen in your life to bring sure. you in this direction? Yeah, sure. So <laughs> I'm, I'm a writer and, um, it's funny, you know, when they ask you, what do you want to be when you grow up, when you're younger? My uh, answer was a writer. So um, No More Broken Records was the first book that I wrote. And then I was literally sitting at my desk one day at the job I wasn't at the time. And I remember I just was kind of like, okay, God, what else can I give the women? That was literally my question. I was like, what else can I do for them? And I swear it like, it just came and I heard like, write a poetry book for women. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so good. Yeah. You know, and I wrote, I ended up writing um, Queens Don't Settle. Mm -hmm. And then interestingly enough, I think it was maybe two years later, um, sort of the same type of inspiration came like, and I'll be honest, for the Kings Don't Settle, I was kind of surprised because I was like, men, like, <laughs> you want me to tackle men? <laughs> yeah, that's you know? a whole nother, that's a whole nother, uh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, I mean, as girls, we kind of understand, but men, you're like going into a whole nother, I know, tap into what the world we're going with that, you know? <laughs> I know, but uh, same, but the same thing. And, and I know it was right because I, I think I wrote like the first 15 poems, like back to back for the men without wow. any hesitation, without any break, it just was like flowing. And so I was like, okay, well, we've got Queens don't settle and now we've got Kings don't settle. Okay. I was like, okay, God, I'm, wow. I'll, I'll, I'll listen. I'll listen and follow what you're saying. Okay. So yeah. Incredible. That I remember, I remember sitting down talking to you about that. And that is just then when you were telling me about that. And then you showed me the book. I was like, that is, that is awesome. That I mean, just and it all came together. And 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 you have it in all the bookstores too, right? It's all out in Barnes and Noble and all that. Um, I think it's just on Amazon right now. I need oh, to get them, you know, yeah, definitely places. But even Amazon, that's basically where people are going right now because nobody's even going hardly even going even out as much like they're going to Amazon to get the book so that's that's all really all you need <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. so that is that is just incredible have you I imagine have you been asked to go places and speak and talk to about your book and all the things that is it's inside there and, and how it's affecting people have people uh, like reached out to you about it um people more so I think the last the last let's see the speaking engagement that I did in London that was, I want to say, centered around No More Broken Records. Um, oh, yeah. The poetry, that has been more so where I've done it. I've gone to um, do the open mics. So that's where that's been sort of yeah. performed at. Yeah. Yeah. No More Broken Records is a little bit of a different kind of a vibe that you're going someplace different with it, right? Mm -hmm. Or is it still kind of, you're still talking about the same thing where, you know, don't do like you're you're telling people kind of kind so, of the same kind of 
idea, right? So No More Broken Records is the first book. And, you know, it's a self-help book, of course. Yeah. Um, and all of them technically, you know, are in the realm of self-help and self-empowerment. Um, but No More Broken Records is, it's clearly a little bit more deeper um, because I talk a, a little bit more about um, like awareness and, um, you know, people cleaning house and things like that. Oh, so yes, yes. very specific tips. Um, and I have tips so in the poetry books too, but I think, you know, that one's a, a real self-help book. And then the other two are poetry books that are empowerment poetry books. Awesome. That is incredible. So what kind of things do you think that you've been through in your life that have been like life changers to get you on the right path? Do you think that you've been through stuff that maybe has made you like, something that maybe have put you through on the right path and maybe can give some others some hope. <laughs> <laughs> who, who has it, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Sometimes I just it? always ask because I know we all been through something and oh, I think yeah. if we can always just have a little something that we've been through to maybe give a light to the path to some others, you know? Oh yeah. Especially um, in the um, health and beauty and fashion industry. I always like to say, we can always just shine a little bit of light a path on others to maybe give them some hope. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, I think it's chapter two. Don't quote me. But in the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so terrible. I know. In uh, No More Broken Records, um, I talked about my journey to winning Sunburst, I want to say. That was, you know, a long time ago, but that was a pageant that I had competed in four years before I won the, you know, overall title. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it was, I think that was in the chapter for clarity because I was just talking about, you know, the importance of being clear on what you want, for example. Yeah. Um, and then of course, you know, having a plan and actually following through with it, you know, and the fact that, you know, I didn't win the first year, I didn't win the second year, I didn't win the third year, you know, but then <laughs> on the fourth year, you know, I, right. I won, you know, so I, there's definitely, um, I definitely say there's good tips in the book, no, and just like the poetry books, um, but the No More Broken Records, um, that was inspired from a relationship um, that was, that I was in, I was actually engaged at the time. And it was like, you know, I, I never ever talk bad about people because I believe there's two people in any relationship. You know, mm -hmm. I'm not a victim and neither is he. Um, but what I will just say in a nutshell is that we, we grew apart. We grew apart and um, based on the conditioning that women have, you know, I think if, you know, I had a different mind frame at the time, I, of course, would have made some decisions. And so um, I had called my mother like every week, probably, if not every <laughs> other week, it'd be every week. And I kept calling her about the same thing. And she just flat out one day was like, listen, I love you, but I need you to stop calling me, you know, until you make a decision. Like, mm -hmm. That's you know, good. it's, yeah. it's just, it's like the same, you, you know what you sound like a broken record. And it just, oh, it's, that is good. I'm so serious. And it kind of yeah. just stuck with me. And I was like, oh, that's the name of the book. Oh, so, wow. That is good. Yeah. 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 So it that was makes sense. Yeah. It was inspired from that, but my whole sort of premise is not just relationships. It's right. It's sort of an overall for living your dream life and really becoming all that you mm. want to be. So good. Oh, Deesh, that is so good. That is good. Thank you for sharing that with us. I appreciate that. So that does some go to nuggets right there. And I appreciate you sharing that with us on the show today. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so like all of our life's journey, as we, we learn and we grow, we have to almost go through stuff until we actually figure out how to navigate and go through the next chapter. Right. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. you know, so and, there's and, a journey ahead of us where we can sometimes only learn as we, we just kind of put the sail up and just, as long as we're in motion, just kind of keep going. Right. <laughs> yeah. And so, I think it's so important for women too, especially. Yeah. Yeah. Which I is, think so too. Yeah. So what's next for you? What's what, what direction you headed in now? Where are you mm -hmm. going? What are you doing? <laughs> well, after, <laughs> After the pageant, uh, like I said, depending on how the competition goes, we'll see what the next pageant will be. Um, you know, but hopefully we are moving in the direction of 
getting signed with one of the top agencies, you know, so I can do this on an even bigger scale, have an even bigger platform for everything. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, the sky's the limit, right? We just got to keep dreaming. We have to have a hope in our heart. If we stop dreaming, having a hope, that's where we kind of, you know, we got to have a vision, got to have a plan. And then we, we run with the vision we write down, right? <laughs> absolutely. And don't give up because I'm not right. going to say it's easy. It's not easy. Oh, no. Yeah, it's definitely not. <laughs> yeah. And I think the most, the things that we appreciate the most is what takes a little bit of effort, right? You got to put yeah. your, you know, we got to, we got to press on. We got to press through. Yeah. Um, what is your favorite quote? If you had a favorite quote or something that you would, what is your, do you have a favorite scripture, a favorite quote or something that you kind of live by or motto or something? Um, I, you know, the one that always comes to mind for me is the one by Marion Williamson about um, not shrinking to make others feel, um, oh, I want to say it right. I know. So it's like, oh, about, yeah. you know what I'm talking about though. It's <laughs> yeah. don't, you're, you don't shrink to make others feel like insecure. Don't let, don't dim your light if it's shining yes. or something like, yeah, don't let it's your that one. <laughs> I know what you're talking and about. I know what I always know and I can't believe I don't have it right now, but it's like, yes, don't shrink. So others around you won't feel insecure. Exactly. Some, something yes. like that. Yeah. yeah. Don't, don't let your, don't dim your light to make others around you feel more comfortable. Like keep keep right. your light bright. Right. Don't dim that to make them feel like, right. I mean, if you're going like this and they're going, ah, you just go. Right. <laughs> Keep yeah. on shining that light. Okay, absolutely. I agree. I yeah. agree. Yeah. Amen. That's right. I agree. I think it was Lisa Nichols. She was the one who was like, you know, you don't dim. You, let me just give you some sunglasses. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I got a bling behind me. Some kind of light. I put those bling. Right. I love the bling. Us girls with the bling, we know we carry sunglasses with us. We understand the bling. You know, we understand right. that. <laughs> I'll give you some sunglasses, but I'm not dimming my light, honey. Absolutely. So, um, so tell me, is there anything else that we do not know about these that you have not shared, and that I, I know you have a list? Like I haven't even. Shared. <laughs> And I know that you have not even shared half of it. And every, you know, you're my, you're my, like, well, my queen sister, every time we see each other, we're either in walking a fashion show, doing a pageant, doing something. So tell us, tell us something we don't know. Hmm. I'm trying to think. We know yeah, tell us all something. three of the books, right? Yeah. We know about your books. We know, we know about all the books. Fashion um, diva model and that you rock the runway and that you use. Oh, dance. I did. I, do you guys know that I dance as well? Oh. <gasps> No. I yeah, I dance. Do you want to well. do you want to show us? Um, I can so if you guys go to my website, you'll see two dance videos that I have on there. It's um What kind of dancing do you do? Just normally, I normally do jazz, but like um I'll try other different dances, so but normally I do like jazz. Yeah. Did, did you, have you done that since a little girl? I mean, have you danced? <laughs> When I was, yeah, well, I started that since I was little, um, and then I didn't sort of get back into it until, like, honestly, a few years ago, so that's when the dance videos, I, you know, we did, like, it, at the studio I was at, uh, we were doing a dance video every year, Yeah. Um, so that's why I have those two dance videos, and I feel like I have another one. So is it only jazz you do? You don't do ballet, no, no, tap, no. or? It, that's just normally what I that's not really what I sign up for, but like I tried different dances at different studios, you know, just to try different things. Yeah. But the, the music video is, it's actually, um, it was a video fixing class. <laughs> so, and, and where do you perform at? Where do you perform at? So that, that video was actually up there in the DC metro area um, with Born to Dance Studio. Two of them are with that studio. One of them is with Diva Dance DC. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's yeah. incredible. Yeah, I actually, um, I used to dance when I was little too. Ah. I, so I love, I can appreciate the the theater and the dancing. I loved it. I actually did ballet on my toes. Ah. So I did jazz, tap belly, all that stuff. So I appreciate that. You said, you said jazz. Oh, yeah. I got to see, I want to see some of your dancing. So if we ever get a chance, if you send us one of your jazz videos, we'll play it on there. I would love to see that on there. That's incredible. But send the crazy thing is, on, we'll it's not it jazz. The, the crazy thing is the videos that I did, they're not actually jazz. So what, yeah. what do they, what do they call it? So the videos that I did, um, one of them was, I guess. Lyrical so, dancing, lyrical dancing, right? 
it's kind of honestly it's like kind of a combination you'll see kind of jazz but it's more like um is one video was i guess maybe more so hip hop ish but the other two are more so like infused with like r and b and jazz so yeah Oh, I, I would, I can't wait to see it. I can, I, yeah. I want you to, whenever, <laughs> whenever you get a chance, you got to send it our way. I would love to play it for everybody to see your creativity and your, your artistic skills and dancing. That would be incredible. <laughs> incredible. Yeah. yeah. So Thank if you. anybody would like to reach out to you and um, get in touch with you, would you feel free to share that information on here so they can get in touch with you? Um. Yeah, they can. One, I would just say, go to the website, which is queensdontsettle.com. Um, there's a button at the bottom for bookings and inquiries, uh, but you can also just email info at dishdixon.com. Okay. Well, you heard it here. And uh, we, you, Dish Dixon today, isn't she incredible? She is an author. She is a lyrical dancer that we can't wait to see her video. She's going to share with us on here. And uh, she's just an, an inspiration to so many. And we appreciate her sharing her story and just telling us a little bit about her life and all the incredible things she does. And we thank you so much for sharing your time tonight with us, Dish. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you.